Hello friends and welcome to Salt and Light with Bumi Banjo. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I believe we're going to have a great time. Are you getting ready for your new year yet? Well, it's about time. Psalm 90 verse 12 says, Teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. As we approach another year, it is important that we intentionally prepare for the year. The word there is intentionality. Why? Because preparation is cogent to success. I trust you taking the time to seek God and hear from Him regarding the new year. I believe one of the ways we can be intentional in achieving our goals is in the area of focus. Therefore today, join me as I share with us on the focus factor. I want you to know that whatever we focus on appreciates. What you and I keep our focus on will be key in achieving our goals for the year. We live in such a fast paced world these days that our focus tends to shift quite easily. So you may be asking me today, how do I keep my focus? The first point I'd like to share with you is prioritize. What is most important to you? That is what you should keep your focus on. Write down your goals in order of importance. Apostle Paul said in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 23, he said, I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. You will agree with that statement, won't you? So choose to do only constructive things that will benefit your life and your future. It is extremely important that we keep our focus on the way to our destiny. The second point on how to keep my focus is mind your own business. Mind your own business. It is a blessing for you and I to mind our own business. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11 says, Make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands. The truth is that we have more than enough to focus on that will occupy us as we pursue our goals. Minding other people's business will distract you. Take you off focus and make you unproductive. So, Mind your business and you'd be shocked how far you can go and grow when you mind your own business. A third way that you and I can keep our focus is spend our time wisely. So spend your time wisely. Time is the most valuable resource that God has given to man. Believe me, you can lose money and get it back. You can lose friends and get them back. You can lose a job and get a better one. But lost time is gone. It is therefore important that we spend our time productively and wisely. Work when it is time to work and rest when it is time to rest. The book of John chapter 9 verse 4, Jesus speaking here and referring to the importance of time. He said, I must work the works of him that has sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. There's a right time for everything. Propose to spend your time wisely. That would be important in keeping your focus this new year. Lastly, to keep our focus on our goals, what do we need to do? Give our goals all we've got. So give it all you've got. Hard work has no substitute. Conserve your energy, your gifts, your talents and resources and converge them together to achieve your goals. Give it all you've got. Put in the required time. Research new and better ways of developing your talent. Try out new things and don't be afraid to take a risk. I'm excited about the new year because I know God has new things in store for you and I. I love you. I wish you an awesome year. And remember always that you are salt and light. Keep that focus. If you're yet to subscribe, please, please do so. Subscribe and click on the notification bell to receive updates of my videos once they are uploaded and share with family and friends. Let's spread this good news together. Thank you.